How many spider men, spider women, spider kids, spider pigs, spider octopi, and spider mechs does it take to save the multiverse? This seems like enough. Not even close, Spidey. Whoa, Aunt May, do you mind if I have a few guests over? Today, find out how every Spider-Man ever teamed up to fight a bunch of multiverse hopping energy vampires on Marvel's Long Story Short. Our story begins with just one superpowered spider being. This guy, huh. the Master Weaver, an entity responsible for weaving the great web of life and destiny. Maintaining all of reality is a fun and totally safe way to pass the time. Oh, dang it! But then he was captured by these guys. <laughs> the Inheritors, a group of hunters from Earth-001 who feed off of the life force totems, beings that connect the animal and human kingdoms. But our favorite meal is spider totems. They are fanger, licking good. Mm. Even if the webbing gets stuck in your teeth. With the power of the Master Weaver's web, the inheritors started jumping around dimensions, killing off Spider-Man and absorbing their life force. Have you tried Earth 311 Spider-Man? He has a real old world flavor. You need to get a taste of this Earth 51914 Spider-Man. He has a cream filling. Meanwhile, on Earth 616, home of the main Marvel Universe, our Spider-Man is trying to not make out with another spider hero, Silk. It's hard. We were both bitten by the same radioactive spider. Our pheromones want us to be together. I wouldn't try that excuse on Mary Jane. Dude. Luckily for Peter's relationship, the Spidey steam sesh is cut short when a group of spiders from across the multiverse, including Spider Gwen, come to recruit him. Hey, hey Spider-Man! Spider -Man. They need him because he's the only Spider-Man to ever defeat one of the Inheritors. I'm radioactive blood intolerant. But with this big of a threat, Peter's spider army is gonna need more help. And it arrives in the form of another spider army. And some might say the Superior Spider Army! Dr. Octopus in Peter Parker's body, aka the Superior Spider-Man, has known about the Inheritors for a while, and has been on his own reality hopping mission to recruit his own spider ringers. I've got a spider monkey. I've got a Spider-Man from the future. Well, I've got the punk rock Spider-Man. Yo, that's spider punk. You want to listen to my single? No need to argue. We think both teams are equally delicious. The inheritors attack, so both spider armies swing on out of there. Oh, who's going to clean up all this webbing? The spider teams split up. Spider-Man 2099 and some other Spideys go to the future to examine the corpse of a dead inheritor. Miles Morales heads off to recruit some cartoony spider men including a talking Spider-Mobile. <laughs> a Peter Parker clone named Kane leads a bunch of other spider clones to the inheritor's clone factory for a clone-on-clone -clone beatdown. And everyone else heads to Earth-13, home of Cosmic Spider-Man. I have Cosmic Spider senses, and even I can't keep track of that many Spideys. Too bad those Cosmic Spider powers make Cosmic Spider-Man an irresistible snack for the Inheritors. So they once again jump dimensions and chow down. Huh? Ah! The only thing that can save us now is like a giant robot or something. Whoa! Good news. Spider-Man from the 1970s Japanese TV show has one. But bad news. The Inheritors make quick work of him, too. Spider Army on the ropes, there's only one place to go. Earth 3145, an apocalyptic wasteland where the Inheritors can't survive. Radioactive energy! Rough for us, but exceptionally dangerous for the Inheritors. They're greeted by that Earth's only surviving inhabitant, Uncle Ben Spider-Man. I, uh, didn't do the best job protecting this universe. Meanwhile, Spider-Woman sneaks into the Inheritors' universe where she's given a set of magic scrolls by the Master Weaver. These are super important. Make sure you read them very carefully. Or just throw them into a portal. Sure, whatever. Spider-Woman sends the scrolls over to Earth-3145. According to these scrolls, it's the destiny of the Spider-Friends to end the reign of the Inheritors. Yeah! 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 But if the blood of three specific Spider-Men spill on the web of life and destiny, every Spider-Person in the multiverse will die! Boom! We need Silk, Hi. Kane, and the Scion. Any kids around? Benji, your son from another dimension is. Okay, let's keep them all safe. My son I just found out about! But just as Morlun is about to spill spider blood on the web, the spider army swings in, with a little assist from Karn, an inheritor who decided to switch sides, and a rebuilt leopardon. The inheritors get Spidey smacked into Uncle Ben's irradiated earth, saving the Spider-Verse. <gasps> yeah! That is until spider Geddon happened a few years later. What? What? Wait, what? But that's a story for another episode of Marvel's Long Story Short. Beep, beep.